our insatiable drive for bandwidth is forcing both Wi-Fi and mobile cellular camps to search for new spectrum. But is 6 gigahertz the silver bullet that will lay this beast to rest? Not all frequency bands are created equal. Low bands, those are frequencies under 1 gigahertz, travel further, making them ideal for rural and indoor coverage at lower cost. But it's in short supply. High band, frequencies above 24 gigahertz, have gobs of spectrum available, but unfortunately doesn't travel far, meaning coverage is limited, making it better suited for hotspots like bus stops, arenas, and classrooms. Mid band, those are frequencies between 1 to 6 gigahertz, deliver a healthy combination of coverage and capacity and allow operators to deploy cell sites as efficiently as possible. Unfortunately, due to the laws of physics and Netflix binge watching, we're running out of it. The ITU estimates that most countries require close to 1 gigahertz of IMT spectrum in mid and low bands to meet our digital needs up to 2030. To date, countries haven't even allocated that much, and even worse, only 40 to 60 percent of what has been allocated has been assigned to operators. Many large operators are lucky to have a combined 100 megahertz of spectrum across several bands, some of which may not be practical to use. A country with three or four operators therefore is lucky to have 25 percent of the spectrum they need to meet the ITU target. The 6 GHz frequency range includes about 1200 MHz of available frequency, depending on the country, and multiple standards bodies, policymakers, and vendors are pushing hard for it to be allocated as another licensed band for mobile cellular use. Although it's considerably higher than most mid-band already allocated, telecom engineers around the world, fueled by caffeine and curiosity, have come up with technologies to allow 6 GHz to provide similar coverage. Unfortunately, like that last piece of cheesecake at a family reunion, 6 gigahertz isn't being eyed by just the mobile cellular community. Today, Wi-Fi uses about 400 megahertz of spectrum in unlicensed bands at 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz to provide about 10 gigabits per second. Unlicensed means nobody is obligated to pay licensing fees for use of these frequencies. The flip side is that Anybody can use them, so there's no real guaranteed level of service. Just try to find a Wi-Fi channel in your neighborhood that isn't being used, and you'll see the challenges of unlicensed spectrum. Mobile operators are reluctant to deploy expensive technology in unlicensed bands simply because they can't control the quality of service available to the users. Therefore, to meet the target set forth by the ITU, the mobile camp needs that 6 GHz band to be at least, in part, allocated as licensed spectrum. Which way will regulators go? Well, that depends on where countries find value as our mobile digital world evolves. Thanks for watching. Man. This Wi-Fi is killing my battery.